Hey, welcome to Bileto. Now that you have created your event, here are some additional options you can use to customize it. Let me walk you through all of the features. You can also select the feature you want to learn about from the menu below. Let's start with your account overview. You can find it here. If you have multiple events on Bileto, this is a good place to see how all of them are doing at a glance. Here you will also find bank information. We need these details in order to transfer the proceeds from your ticket sales after the event is over. If you have multiple people working on your event, you can add them here in Role Management. An employee status gives access to event creation and sales overview, but it doesn't allow to view or edit account information or bank details. The administrator status gives full access to your account. And financial controller has access to your bank details and sales figures, but can change details on the account or add more people to the account. Here you can also add details for your Google Analytics integration or insert your Facebook pixel. You can get a more in-depth guide how to use both in our Help Center. You can also edit your public organizer profile here. Your organizer profile is visible to everyone viewing your event page, so you might want to make it presentable. Here I can change the profile picture, and it could be your company logo, for example, and this picture will also appear in your event. I can also customize the cover to make it even more interesting. And I can also change the description here to add any additional information I want the attendees to know about this profile. Now, let's go over the additional customizations for your event. I'm just going to go to Calendar and pick Event I want to customize and then click Manage. If you saved your event as a draft, you will find it under Draft here. Let's start with the overview. Here you can see how your event is doing. Get an overview of ticket sales so far. If you would like to receive daily email notifications with your ticket sales numbers, you can also enable it here. Next up is Insights. Here you can get more detailed breakdown of your ticket sales by source, gender, and location. You can also adjust these by dates. Next is Orders. Here you can see the details of everyone who bought a ticket for your event. Here you can also edit the orders for your guests. Let's have a look at this one. You can download the ticket for this guest in case you want to resend it to them or send it to them in any other way than email. You can also simply resend a ticket, and it will be sent to the same email this guest has used to buy the ticket in the first place. And you can also forward the ticket, in case your guest has used the wrong email. Here you can also request a refund for tickets. So, with the orders you have a full control over your event orders and tickets. You can also view the list with individual tickets and resend download refund tickets from this view, and also change the name and email on the ticket if requested by the guest. If the venue you're hosting an event at has a limited capacity, you can enable it here. It might not make sense if you only have one ticket type, since you can simply limit the number of tickets available. But if you have multiple ticket types, you might want to enable this option to make sure that you don't overbook the venue. On to custom fields. Custom fields allow you to add a field to request additional information from your event guests. This could be anything from their dress size, if you have merch or t-shirts for the event, or it could be their food preference, if it's a food event. So, let me show you a few examples of how you can use these fields. So, I'm going to create a field that asks my guests if they want to receive email updates about future events from me. I'll call this field Newsletter Signup, and in the description I will ask if my guests want to receive email updates from me. Now, this is a yes or no question. If you already know the answers to your question and just need numbers, you might want to use the drop-down option. I will create an answer that says yes and another one that says no. I'll make this required field so the guest has to answer this question before they make a purchase. And lastly, I can choose to ask this uh, question once per order or once per ticket. In this case, it will make sense to ask this just per order since it's one email. And before I show you how this looks on the ticket purchase flow, let me add another example. I will ask my ticket buyers where they heard about my event from. So, I will simply create a new field as before, but I will choose text field option so that the user could write their answer. Great, so let's see how this looks on the ticket. Here's me trying to buy a ticket, and here are the questions that I have to fill out before committing to the purchase. You can find answers to the questions on the guest list, which I will go over shortly. Generate tickets option. You can generate some tickets for offline sales or for a promotion. Say you have a photographer come into the venue and you like to give them a ticket without them paying for it. You can generate a ticket here and it will create a copy of the ticket that will be sent out to the email you choose. You can also share your event from this view. Sharing it on Twitter or Facebook will create a post with a link to the event. 
You can also get a code for the ticket widget you can use to embed on your website and allow others to purchase tickets from your site through Boleto. Just copy the embed code here and paste it where appropriate on your site. If you want to create special tickets that can only be claimed using a code, you can do this in Access Codes section. If you already know which tickets you'd like to add access codes to, you can go ahead and create a new code here. I have added special tickets for my club members that I will add a code for. They can purchase the tickets at a cheaper price. I'll pick Members Tickets. Uh, these are the tickets I would like to add the access codes to and click Enable. I will then click on Generate Access Code and pick a code. Let's do Yay Member. I will make five tickets available with this code. I'll click Generate and now my ticket buyers can enter this code before a checkout to get a cheaper price option. Let's see how this works with the ticket buyers. They can enter the access code here and now they have access to special tickets. You can also add speakers or notable participants to your event. I can add a picture, name and title of the speaker or other notable person, um, say for example a director if it's a movie or a performer if it's a performance or a dance, and these will appear at the bottom of the event. Lastly, you can prepare your event for the big day in the check-in section. You can keep your eye on the overview if you're using the Billetto app to scan the tickets. This will be updated live on the day of the event. The event manager allows you to set up a till to enable you to sell tickets in the door. If you need to use this option in Billetto, please refer to the tutorial in the Help Center. And finally, guest list. Here you can request a copy of a guest list to be emailed to you in the format you require. The guest list also contains the information you collect from the custom fields. We keep on adding new features all the time, so keep an eye on the Belletto Organizer newsletter to stay updated.